Is 2023 money wise, both phones are very pricey $1200 asking price for both phones, now design wise, when it comes to purely visual appeal both businesses have established their own identity. The USB-C edition is likely the most significant update on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Both phones include a Gen 3 USB-C connector for 10 gigabit speed transmission, however Samsung's USB-C port actually offers quicker charging of up to 45 watts, but Apple's charging rates still remain the same as the iPhone 14 Pros. Surprisingly, Apple hasn't changed the display-wise from last year's models, so we still have slammer bezels but with 2000 nits of brightness, which is higher than the 1800 nits on the S23 Ultra. In addition to having higher CPU scores and somewhat better battery efficiency, the iPhone 15 Pro comes with a 3 nanometer Apple A17 Pro processor as opposed to 4 nanometers in the 23 Ultra. The most significant improvement comes in the shape of this new GPU on the A17 Pro, which can actually run console games. If we're not mistaken, the iPhone 15 Pro series will be the first handsets to have genuine console games on a smartphone for the first time. In their keynotes, Samsung likes to brag about ray tracing, but they never actually work with these game firms to bring console games to their phones. Apple has actually killed the 3x optical zoom on their iPhone 15 Pro Max in favor of a 5x periscope zoom sensor, which is simply insufficient to compete with Samsung's monstrous 10x optical zoom that goes up to 100x while still offering you a separate 3x optical zoom for portraits, but seriously, that 48mm sensor has to do some serious magic in order to keep up with the quality that you get from an actual 3x optical zoom on the S23 Ultra. So, once again, when comparing the zoom capabilities of the Samsung and Apple cameras, Samsung still reigns supreme. When it comes to the primary camera sensor, Apple has made a significant adjustment in that the phone now takes 24MP photographs by default rather of 12MP images, so you may either take 24MP shots or 48 or switch to RAW 48 megapixel mode. Samsung, on the other hand, offers 12 megapixel 50 and 200 MP camera settings, so both have a lot of options when it comes to high resolution camera modes. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with up and said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.